Okay, new card. Is that number four now? So we've only got one more card in Gideon's. And I'm on 19 photos normal. Because we're basically doing vista shots. And you can see the Malalukas in flower there. Want more information? Well, I don't have one of those. I'm living in Abbott land. So, uh, oh, I don't think, no. Why do you have the board? No, I, I know why you have the board so far away from the board so no one can feed it, but uh, I can't take a bloody screenshot with, uh, that far out. I can hold my hand as far as that, but that's about it, I think. And I'm not on macro, so you're gonna, you're gonna struggle, fellas. Well, there's not too much of a wind out, out here, so I've still got my blue tech in my hand, so if we get, if it gets blustery and blowy. Now, we found the Bernardo originally right near the front entrance of the boardwalk, out just over there, um, when it'd been burnt out. So, if uh, Richard Bunn's theory about cephalodes is correct and, and is in parallel with that of Bernardo, well, the Bernardo then is still there at the front entrance. It's just that they need a a jolly good rubby burn sort of thing but uh, yeah so back vistas yeah I'll do all that it's a big place it's much bigger than you think it is and as I said if you look on Google Maps there is a back way of getting in and, and there are probably some choice of spots if you come in the back way but what with time and effort and money and everything else and living in Abbott land well I probably have to keep that until another time I've got the original discovery footage up online if you want to look at that there's two two versions of it. there's the donny version and then there's the family version with my son in there uh, and at the end of the family version you get the close-ups i think because i think we went back a week later or was it vice versa i can't remember if i went with donny first and then the family or we did the family just to check that it was there and then took donny down to see it or something i can't remember which way around it was but uh i think I don't know how close the gate is, if it's close enough we'll take a look because at least we know it was growing there and you know, if we can't see it well at least we can uh, say well there you go Richard you need to, you need to push for uh, a good Robbie Burns to, ch uh, to try out your Cephalotus theory in parallel with Bernardus sort or of thing. <laughs> well it's not too far away yeah, and there's probably people screaming out saying, you just walked past the whole stand of it, Richard, you're guest bagging too much, you missed it. <laughs> a lot of signage. A lot of weird vegetation projects going on over there. But, uh, I think we came in there and we were sort of bashing around in there when, after the initial burnout. Found some. So, uh, yeah. Now, somewhere along here, it was just like, here was the gate, and it was all burnt out in here, lots of uh, uh, charcoalized tea tree peat sort of stuff, if you want to call it that, and yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even know it was there, would you? Yeah, you wouldn't even know it was there. 